I am Anil Kumar and in this series of understanding how to rearrange formulas, we will take up focal length of a lens in this particular video. As you know, uh, the focal length is related with the distance of object and its image by the formula uh, 1 over f equals to object distance plus 1 over image distance, right? So that is how it is related. Now the idea is how to find these variables individually. That is to say, how to isolate i for example. How to isolate the image distance from this particular formula. So that requires some skills of working with fractions and we will try to do that. So let us rewrite this formula here. So it is 1 over f equals to 1 over, this is object O, right? So let me just put some dot in between so that becomes different from 0 plus 1 over i. Now we need to isolate i so what we will do is we will take this 1 over o on the left side or we'll subtract this from both the sides. So what we get is 1 over f minus 1 over object distance. It is distance of object from the lens equals to 1 over i. Now we could get i by just flipping it but this kind of a fraction cannot be flipped. So here what we need to do is we have to take a common denominator, right? So once we take a common denominator, that is to say that we make multiply this first part by object distance, right? So we get object distance on the top and the denominator we get by multiplying them f times o, right? minus f equals to 1 over i now we can actually flip and write down the formula, right? So we can get i equals to, so we get formula as i equals to the distance focal length which is called times the object length divided by object length minus focal length, right? So, so that is how you can write this formula, right? So somehow this object length O looks very interesting. I never thought about it but I kind of like it. Okay, now that is one way you could do it. So what I will do is just to show you another way of rearranging, uh, we will just find what f is from this particular formula. right? As I said here, you cannot really uh, flip it over because this is kind of a addition, right? So you cannot do it. So what we can do in this particular case is we can actually multiply by the common denominator. So the common denominator in this case is f times object distance times i. So if I multiply every term by this, then we get rid of fractions. And that is the strategy which we will be using in many examples, correct? So let me rewrite this equation and we'll multiply by this product of all the three and see what happens. So we have 1 over f equals to 1 over object distance, right, plus 1 over image distance. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to multiply each term by f o i, right, so we will multiply by f o i, the distance from the center of curvature, right. Now once you do that, as you can see here, it can be simplified. Now f gets cancelled, you get object distance times image distance. Here object distance gets cancelled, here image distance gets cancelled. So what do you get finally? You get something, a kind of a linear equation without any fractions. So we get this as object distance times i equals to f times i plus f times o, right? So that is what you get. Now on the right side, we can factor f right? So we can get factor f. So we get f times i plus object distance. And we can divide both sides. This is object distance and image distances. We can divide both sides by i plus o. Okay, so in that case f equals to product of object and image distance divided by sum of object and image distance. So that is how you can directly calculate now the focal length of a lens, correct? So let me rewrite this formula again for you. We can write formula as now. Focal length could be found as a product 
it is a quotient of product and sum, right? So we say object and image distance product divided by object and image distance sum, right? So that is how you can find the focal length. So instead of using the standard formula which you which is given here on the top, we could actually use this formula. Given object distance and image distance, we can find the focal length of a lens using this formula directly. Otherwise, if we are given like this, we have to do a lot of math to get the answer. I hope these strategies help you to rearrange similar formulas and work efficiently uh, with in such cases. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.